Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today I've got a bunch of stuff that I've got to take care of. First off, I've got to clean up my studio space over there because I left quite the mess. And then we're actually going to be going to Walmart and also the Lego store to check it out. Uh, I went to the Lego store on June 1st to check out all the June 1st releases, but due to a system error, there was not, like all the new releases were not out. So today I'm hoping all those releases that weren't out on display and available for purchase are out so we can check all those out and maybe they'll have some good pieces on the pad wall as well but first i've got to take care of this mess over here it's not really that big of a mess but it is over seventy-six thousand pieces i think yeah the top 10 largest lego sets ever produced so i've got to put these all back on display fun video to create but a lot of work packing all of these sets around yeah, and I sort of need my studio space. <laughs> I can't just leave these on display like this, right? So yeah, I've got to put these all back on display. <laughs> One does not simply move the Millennium Falcon without taking a video. So now that that's all cleaned up, it's time to mess it all up again. No, but in all seriousness, I just pulled out my second Disney castle that was sent to me by Michael and Carol. Thank you because my next project, well, one of my next projects, is doubling the size of the Disney castle, and that's gonna be happening within the next couple days. And here it is, all parted out. By like part type, we've got big panels, and then in here we just have like a crazy amount of bags that have all the pieces separated by part type and color. So cool. So I'm gonna be using all of these pieces, which is of course the second Disney castle, to double this thing up. I haven't decided whether or not the uh, double Disney castle is going to be facing this way so that guests can walk through it or if I'm going to spin it 90 degrees so guests can look at it. I guess I better hurry up and decide which way I want that Disney castle facing because if guests can walk through it versus just look at it, the double Disney castle might have to be built different. I think it'd be pretty neat if guests could walk through it just like the ones at Disney parks, right? That's sort of why I positioned it like this. Yeah, so I think I want to stick with that idea. But either way, that's not today's task. Like, I'm not going to be doubling the Disney castle today. I've got to go take care of something, which is extremely exciting. And we better go see how the kids are doing upstairs. Yum, yum, breakfast, hey guys? Yum, 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 yum. Look what mom's got ready for you. Pancakes and eggs. Banana pancakes, and dad even gets some eggs too. Ooh. You're not doing a very good job of hitting your mouth there, buddy. Hey? Hey, Benny? Is it good? Look, what's that? Goodness, you're the better eater, aren't you, Mill? Aren't you? And of course, we've got the uh, cleanup crew on call here. They're ready for it. Ready for any mess that might happen. And Luna's like, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. <laughs> yeah, 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 kitty. You guys got strawberries too? What the heck? Dad only got eggs. You're getting pancakes, strawberries, and eggs, and cereal? Holy cow. You guys are spoiled. Hey, it's like a buffet every morning for you. Jeepers. All right, now that the kids are taken care of upstairs and everybody's happy, it's time to move on to our little adventure. Let's head out to Walmart and also the Lego store. The exciting task that I have to do before going shopping involves this handy dandy extension ladder that I bought a number of years ago. Check it out. This thing is uh, 12 and a half feet. Like it extends to 12 and a half feet, but look at that. So compact. Yeah, I gotta go clean some eavesdrops. It's gonna be amazing. It's been a while since I've been to this particular Walmart. I used to come here all the time, scoping out the Lego aisle, of course. This isn't why I'm specifically here, but when you come to Walmart, you definitely got to check out the Lego aisle. I've seen so many people having so much luck in the United States in regards to Walmart sales, like on Instagram, but I'm just not having any luck at all as of late. I don't even see any of like the brand new stuff that we hope to see at the Lego store today. Bunch of speed champions here, though. Ton of them. That's good. 
Ferrari, the Porsche, Pagani, another Ferrari. What's the older ones? I think these ones? I need to pick up a couple more of these actually because if I plan on putting uh, Speed Champions in my mansion and also having them all on display, then I need duplicates, which seems a little bit ridiculous if you ask me. We got some city stuff up here too. Fire station, mobile crane, the farmer's market van. But overall, the only thing that's really exciting here is uh, <laughs> the coffee that I left on the shelf. I'll take that. Yeah, perfect. Already paid for, don't worry. But yeah, nothing too crazy here. I did find some uh, stellar deals at this uh, Walmart back in the day, but nothing here today. Is that still a current set? It must be. I'm sure there's some retired stuff here. Sometimes people are like, hey, this set at uh, X timestamp is uh, retired. So let me know if you see any retired stuff here because I'm sure there is. What do you think? Should I pick up a new pair of tropical shades while I'm here? Look at those bad boys for 10 bucks. Wow. Honestly, this is why I'm here though. I need to pick up some classic rubber gloves for my eaves trough cleaning adventure. You know, we've got a nice uh, few days ahead of us here in Edmonton. It's gonna be like 27 to 30 degrees. I could use some of those sunglasses. Look at this unauthorized stop at Canadian Tire. We're actually buying the kids their first bikes. Which ones do you think we should get? No, I'm just kidding. We're not actually buying them a bike, but tonight I'm actually picking up a bike trailer or jogging stroller that can be attached to a bike so I can tow them around. I think they're gonna have an absolute blast. They're at the age where they can actually, you know, hold their head up, they can sit, they can crawl, they can nearly stand. Can you believe it? They're almost 10 months old. But to ensure their safety, we are getting them little mini helmets here from Canadian Tire, just in case they uh, clunk their coconuts together or whatever it may be, right? Just wanna make sure they're safe. So this is Millie's and the dinosaur one is Benjamin's. This is the smallest helmets that they make. I think that's gonna fit them if we just tighten the strap. 30 bucks each to ensure the safety of our kids. Definitely worth it though. Look at Jose's unauthorized purchase here. I should buy one of these, you know? She buys a cookbook, I should get one of those. But look at that, five ingredient slow cooker recipes. That's one thing you learn as a parent. You only have time to use five ingredients. But look at all the stuff in here. Like, at first I was like, whoa, that's $16 for that book, but that is a lot of recipes. Like there are a lot of things in there don't that you can make. Don't buy many cookbooks, do you? Yeah, with five, well, I don't buy very many cookbooks, nor do I cook very much other than uh, craft dinner. But look at that, five ingredients. That's all you need to make some delicious dinner. Can't wait to eat that. Okay, so we're here at the Lego store and I was just told by the staff that uh, Double Points is actually running this coming weekend. So it's, well, I guess when you're watching this video, it's Double Points, woo! <laughs> but uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday through Tuesday, I think. So Friday through Tuesday, which is exciting. I don't know if I want to get too carried away here, but there is a good piece on the pad wall that I currently need. There's not much of it, but it's actually right down here and it's the uh, two by six gray brick. I've been using all of those just like everywhere in my city, specifically two by. So yeah, I need to fill some pab cups today because come Friday, those might not be in stock. So I'm loading up some of those cups while Jose is right now as I'm talking to you. There's also some of these, but I think I have enough right now. So you know what, when I was here on June 1st, I actually made a mistake. I said, oh, the new Creator 3-in-1 stuff, it's not on display. The new City stuff, it's not on display. The new Dreams lineup, where is it? Well, that stuff actually comes out in August, so I was actually incorrect. But there is uh, some of the new products that weren't on display at that time on display right now. Uh, this one here, actually, Jose started building it the other day. Sort of jealous that she's building it. I think she wants to get this one here. But there is some of the new stuff that wasn't on display uh, on June 1st, and that specifically is Harry Potter. Because when we were here, they only had the uh, brickheads, which we yes. built right after and integrated onto our display. But check it out. Now we have the uh, Hogwarts Express Hogsmeade Station, right? And then over here, there's the new Quidditch trunk. Oh look, there's the set that I saw at Walmart. Clearly not retired, but probably going to be retiring soon because it is on sale. $5 off. And then up here we have Dobby. I gotta get Dobby. But do I wait for double points to pick up Dobby? He's 45 bucks, maybe. And then up here there is the Battle of Hogwarts. Where's Neville? There he is, taking on the Basilisk. 
Just iconic scene right there. Amazing, I don't have any of these though, right? So probably not gonna be picking that up ever to tell you the truth. Then there's Expecto Patronum where we can build uh, two different Patronus charms. So we got uh, Lupins and also Harry's. I don't know if I wanna get that or not. For sure wanna get Dobby, but uh, I don't know if I wanna get that one. And then there's also the uh, Diagon Alley Weasley Wizard Wheezes. So if you don't have this set, or if you wanna make that a complete modular building, you can get this here, the Weasley Wizard Wheezes. And also comes with the uh, Owl Post as well. Of course, there's all sorts of other Harry Potter stuff here, like the Massive Hogwarts Express, Diagon Alley, the Hogwarts Castle, and down here, it is uh, the Hogwarts icons. So yeah, pretty sweet selection here today. And actually in the Harry Potter department, they're also advertising the new Dreams lineup once again. I thought this was coming out in June, but my memory was playing tricks on me that day. It is coming out in August. Holy cow, I literally forgot that this set came out in June. Like it wasn't on June 1st, I think it was on like June 4th or something, but the new Batcave is here, $520. I have a feeling that this box here, well, the box with a picture of a box on it is uh, deceiving because I think it's going to be huge. Yup, it is. $520. I guess it just came out because it's on VIP early access right now. 3,981 pieces. I'm still undecided whether or not I want to pick this up. It is pretty cool. It's an interesting concept that's never been done with LEGO. Maybe we should have got like more of a diorama and some of these pieces could have been allocated to building like a better like cave. But this is sort of cool how the way like it opens up. Plus you get that Batmobile and just like the part usage in it to create the actual like cutout. And this bat signal up here is pretty neat. I don't know, I'm sort of on the fence. There is some new Batman stuff coming out later on this summer as well, such as the Batwing and also the Batmobile. So in order to get this Batmobile, you don't have to buy this set, which I think is neat. It also comes with, or they come with uh, some pretty cool looking Joker figures. I'm definitely gonna leave this here, but it is double points coming up here. So maybe that's the opportune moment to pick up a huge set like this because you'd get, you know, $52 cash back. So they have all the new friend sets and also the new Ninjago sets as well. And the uh, Jurassic Park stuff is not sold out, so they still have that in stock. This is the only one that I picked up on June 1st. I sort of want to get this one for a different Jeep and also get the Brachiosaurus. I just don't know, like that tree looks like an interesting build, but it's a hundred bucks. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to pick that up. Maybe during double points. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But there is some good promos on right now as well. Well, I guess this promo has been on for quite some time when you spend 140 bucks to get that one. But there's also the summer poly bag. It's like a VIP poly bag that was just released as well. So you know me, right? I'm not like the biggest Ninjago collector in the planet, but I just built uh, this one here, which is Ninjago City Market. So I guess they have markets and the gardens like in stock at the same time. I think classically, like when a new one came out, the older one retired. I don't quite recall, but I don't think there was a huge overlap between the two different sets. But there's a bunch of new Ninjago stuff. The Elemental Dragon versus the Empress Mech. Then down here, there's Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team Mechs. I like this one here because it's like a temple that can be worked into a Lego city. This is the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. I like that. I like this tree and like the just the height of it. I've got uh, two temples in my city. The Dojo Temple and also the Temple of Spinjitsu or Air Jitsu. I always mix it up. But it might be interesting to integrate another temple. And if I do that, this would be the one. There's tons of new Ninjago sets. It's actually crazy. There's the Heat Wave Transforming Lava Dragon. Whoa. And also Zane's Dragon Power Spinjitsu Race Car. Definitely, I won't be getting any of those, but Ninjago fans are probably pretty hyped. You know what? These like dragon builds though, like the character builds or the animal builds or dragon builds, that's what they are, I guess, are just wild. Well, I guess another exciting one is the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time. That one's here as well. I probably missed some stuff in the Ninjago department because there's so much new stuff. Friends is actually looking pretty good this summer. We got the Beach Amusement Park. 
get the little, uh, oh, it's like one of those surfing things, like the big speakers, and then this ride with the different animals, and it actually, like, turns, of course. There's this new, like, modular-style building right here, the Heart Lake City Community Center, that looks tall. Too colorful for me, but it looks pretty good. It's also a skate park. There's a new skitty, or a sk there's a new city skate park coming out. Sorry, I mixed up the two words there. Uh, and this one I think is the best release in the Friends lineup this summer. The Botanical Garden, and you can get multiple of those and actually complete it, right? Because in its base layout, it actually has an open back. But if you get multiple of them, you could close the back. It comes with some nice, I believe, new butterfly elements. Don't quote me on that. And look at all the plant life found within that. I wouldn't mind getting two of these eventually and, and doing something with them, but at this time, I just don't know where I'd put it in the city. I just don't think there's space. Uh, I know Brick Artisan has already released a rebrickable model on how to double that up. There's also the Sports Center, and there's some sort of like new catamaran as well. I'm trying to find that here. Where's the catamaran? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, the new uh, sea uh, rescue boat, which is the catamaran, and then I think that's about it i'm sure there's a bunch more oh yeah these are all new too just so many in the friends lineup right hard lake city community kitchen and then the sea rescue center there's lots of great like parts in these and i think honestly that like friends is getting better and better especially with releases like this here like that's pretty sick and that catamaran looks pretty good as well. I don't think I'd ever integrate anything like this into the city though. So they actually just got some new BAM in as well, which is build a minifigure and it's Ninjago themed. There's seven characters all together. So that pairs up nicely with those new Ninjago sets. But it's cool to see Ninjago in the BAM display. Double points or not, I just can't resist this. I've got to pick up Dobby. I don't think I'm going to be getting any of the other new Harry Potter stuff. Maybe the Patronus at some point, but for sure this guy's coming home with me. Right over here by the Indiana Jones stuff where they have all three sets, they actually have some stuff on sale. Generally when things are on sale, that means they're gonna retire, right? Does that mean that this Shrieking Shack in Whomping Willow is gonna retire? Maybe. What's the original price? 120 on for $96. I don't know when this arrived here, but they actually have a mosaic maker machine here. So you can get your own custom design and make yourself out of Lego art. So the big question is, is are we gonna get some smaller LOTR sets? Like we're waiting Lego, we're waiting. Well, this sort of snuck up on me here. They have the icons of play in stock. Look at that, there's like a seating area. And a soccer field. Look at the way they created the field just with like various colors, well, two different colors of uh, green tile there. There's also the soccer net. It looks like you can actually play as well. I haven't done any research on this set at all to tell you the truth, but there it is. 899 pieces and look at that. Yeah, it's an actual playable field. I'd like to see that in action. And it looks like they're not having any stock issues with Pac-Man as they've got some right up here. So after finishing up at the Lego store, I'm actually back at H&M. I'm trying to refresh my wardrobe here. Value shop, and look at that, $7.99. Getting a bunch of nice shirts there. Just going for the neutral colors and some collared shirts. Trying to, you know, style it up these days in my cheap clothing. <laughs> uh, I don't mind the neutral colors though, it's nice. Six shirts for $56. You really can't go wrong. Hey, I haven't checked out the top of the Lego store in a long time. Look at that, we got the bear, you got the cowboy with his guitar. It's looking pretty cool. Okay, so we're back from the Lego store. Jose ended up packing five cups. Very thankful for that. Yeah, we got some nice gray bricks. My silly head is pretty much empty. Yeah, I keep my bricks and my silly heads, which are tucked away in the corner there. But yeah, my gray brick one's empty. I was trying to think, like, where did I use all those pieces? Does it go, yeah, those platform coverings. So now I have a bunch of uh, one by because last time I was there, I picked up a bunch of one by gray brick. So that was good. And now we have a bunch of two by as well. So those are gonna pair up nicely for some future projects. Maybe the Disney castle will need some gray brick if we put it on some sort of platform or something like that. So what I do is make a tower that's six by six on the bottom. And then up top, I put eight by eight where the cup widens. And then I just filled it full of, uh, well, she filled it full of uh, smaller two by two plates because I used a bunch of those uh, for placing the, Ferris wheel because it sits on pedestals now. 
And same with uh, part of the Haunted Mansion. It sits on two plates and one tile pedestals. And when you're stacking two of those and using them as uh, Mills plates, well, it takes a lot of them. And then I ended up picking up uh, Dobby as well, the house elf. So that's why I got this promo here. Because that adds up to over $140, believe it or not. And then I also got this as well. Comes with a bush, a couple palm leaves, the transparent umbrella there, and a bunch of other stuff. Hey, that umbrella might come in handy on my beach. It's like an actual pre-molded umbrella rather than using a dish. And here is Dobby. I ended up building him real quickly. This was a, a fun little build. You know, he's not that detailed. It's not that intricate, but I think it's a good size and comes on a nice stand there too, which is really well rounded. Uses some interesting parts. Uh, sticker element on the bottom there that says Dobby. His little feet, his straight legs that don't articulate his body, which is just like a square with some curved slopes on it. And then his arms and also his hands there. Pretty nice. And then his head does articulate, so you can actually move his neck. And his ears will move up and down as well. Pretty cute guy there. He's got some print pieces on his face. The circular eyes and also his mouthpiece. The top of his head is actually built using like tr uh, car hoods, I guess I'll call them. Almost called them trunks. Definitely not trunks. But car hoods. And the back is sort of strange. Definitely not going to be looking at the back of Dobby very often, but it doesn't look that good. Of course, this will be presented on a shelf forward facing, right? We also got a couple accessories that he can hold on to. So you got uh, Tom Riddle's diary. And it's got two stickers on it. And that symbolizes the, uh, or I guess represents the stab wound that this uh, diary faced from the basilisk uh, fang, right? And that can open up. And then we've got the sock inside that Harry removed from his foot. And then uh, Lucius Malfoy end up presenting this book to him. And there you go. Now he's a free house elf. Also, we've got the cake that he uh, dropped. <laughs> and made it levitate there to get Harry in trouble to try and prevent him from going to school, right? Pretty cool little cake built with some odd shaped plates and also has some transparent pieces on the on the uh, bottom of it so it looks like it's floating. Lots of uh, flower elements and studs and just sort of layers of circular plate to create the cake. So there we have Dobby. Awesome. I'm glad that we have him. I don't know where we're going to put him. Harry Potter stuff. We should just like have him chilling right here. There you go. The cute little guy. Perfect. <laughs> Fills that little nook perfectly. I'm pretty happy with that uh, new Lego set. Well, there you go, everybody. That's half my day done. And now I get ready to start the second half after I sort all these pieces into the parts inventory. Then I'm probably going to start taking a look at all of those uh, Disney Castle pieces there. Uh, very well sorted in there. I'm going to put them into my containers and sort of break them down by plates, odd shaped plates, connectors, bricks, one by brick, two by brick, uh, slopes, curved slopes. So then when we go to build the double Disney castle, it's going to be a lot easier to build. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. It's probably going to have to be like dissected so that I can replicate it and sort of mirror build it to fill in the back. So that's sort of my next project. Yeah, exciting uh, start to my day though. I feel like I did quite a bit. I did some more behind the scenes stuff as well to get ready for uh, Brickworld Chicago. So that's exciting too. That's going to be happening right away here. Wow, <laughs> pretty amazing. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And uh, farewell.